Welcome back to Buffalo Wild Wings, and we are live out here at B-Dub, so come on out and join some great food, and we're going to get ready and start our Blazing Athlete uh, portion of the show, and like always, Chuck Fox, Dave Fisher here, come on out and support our great Blazing Athletes, and we're going to get things started here this evening uh, with our first Blazing Athlete. She is from Troy High School, and she is part of the band, Victoria Solomon. Victoria, congratulations hey. on being our Blazing Athlete. Thank you so much. You know, and and we watch the bands, you know, every week. And it doesn't matter whether it's yours, you know, the Troy band or the other bands. But, you know, you you young people work just as hard as the athletes. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you, and you start early. Talk about how early you start in the season. Um, well, the drum majors start in June. And everyone else starts in July. So we start about mid-July. And then we go all the way to November. Right, and, and you do, you know, not only are you performing on football games, but you also have quite a few band competitions that you have to go to also. Yeah, yeah we have, yeah, we have quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit. And you've got uh, Kathy McIntosh, which she does a great job out there. And, and to talk about, you know, uh, you know, your years with Kathy Mack. Um, Mrs. Mack has definitely been the biggest inspiration in my life, right. along with my two side directors, uh, Ms. Veneman and Mr. Lair. Um, Miss Mac has d put in so much work into the band, like, right. s and it's a lot of like background work that people don't really get to see. Um, but I'm just grateful that I get the opportunity to work with her. Right. Yeah. So you're the field commander, yeah. and so what does that entail? What are your responsibilities as far as being the, the field commander for the band? Well, some of my responsibilities, along with my co drum majors, um, we yeah. get to organize pre camp, band camp. Uh, next to my directors, so we have to organize the games and like what we do at rehearsals and we get to like be up there leading the rehearsals basically. Um, at this point in the season we're just doing a lot of like reps, so that's a lot of metronome work and like going back and making sure that we know our stuff because if we don't know our stuff then it's hard for the band to... Right. They follow rep. you, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, when you're not um, being the field commander, what instruments do you play? Um, I play the alto saxophone. That's my main instrument. Okay. So I'm not only in the highest ensemble in Troy, I'm also in jazz band. So. Awesome. So yeah. you and you do that uh, outside of the the marching band season and concert season. And um, do you play any other instruments besides that? Um, no. I mean, I play a little bit of guitar, but that's. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you like the alto sax? Great instrument to love, play. Love the alto saxophone. So, um, with the band, I mean, I know you guys like like Friday or Saturday night. You went to Norwood, you said, mm -hmm. to have a band competition. Yeah, that's all day. Yeah, <laughs> we started rehearsal pretty early in the morning, and uh, by the time we were about to leave, everyone was exhausted. But <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were tired, um, but we still had enough energy to go out on the field and put our hearts out on that field and just leave it there. And how'd you do on Saturday night? Oh, uh, we got second place. We were against Lakota East and Loveland High School. Lakota East is a pretty big school. My band director, Miss Veneman, that's her alumni or uh, okay. alma mater. So okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now you have uh, a couple more weeks, and you're getting ready for states. Um, I mean, how many years has it been that? Troy has gone to state. This will be the 40th year that Troy has gone 40, 40 years. That yeah. is amazing. You're one of, like, only, what, a couple bands that have done that in the state yep. to be able to go every year of OEMA. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's crazy to think about. Like, absolutely. that I'm part of this big legacy that has been going on for years. And, well, and when do you go, when is state? When do you go to state? State is November 3rd, which is a Sunday. Okay, yeah. so, and it's down at Welcome Stadium. Mm -hmm. So if you want people out there that are listening, you want to come see and see a lot of great bands. Yeah. Sunday afternoon, Eight, Welcome yeah. Stadium, and you can come down and see Troy and a lot of other bands, and you can see what they do and, and how they compete. And Troy's, yeah, Troy's one of the last bands to go because we're the one of the biggest. So. Yeah, there you go. And yeah. one of the best. They yeah. say the best for last, right? <laughs> you're right. <laughs> well, you know, you're a senior, and you've you've – four years in the band but i was told that you actually this is somewhat of your fifth year yeah. because th to tell it tell us the story why we could say you, you've been working with the band for five years so um i well, in eighth grade mrs mcintosh asked me to be an eighth grade helper which entails like helping with the props and right. kind of coming in and meeting marching band friends and i 
Um, not only was I a prop helper, like when we didn't need props on Friday nights, I still came to the games on Friday nights. I right. got to meet like so many awesome friends and make great connections, and that's really how I got to know the marching band. So we've also been we've also been told that you're quite the leader. So how do you help your underclassmen? What do you what do you do with those folks? Um, as a drum major, especially, I love making sure. What happened? Okay. 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 <laughs> it happens sometimes. Yep. <laughs> Cuts us out. <laughs> I heard the commercial and I was like. Gotcha, <laughs> Thank you, Ted. And welcome back to the score. We had a small problem back <laughs> at the studio. We, we lost our signal. But anyways, we, you were talking about your, your fifth year as, uh, as, as being in, involved in the band and, and, and coming back in uh, Kathy Mack asked you. So go ahead and finish that up. So um, basically, I the, the seniors this year get to have this thing called a little. So we get assigned a freshman, and we kind of get to look over them and take care of them as the season goes on. I have two great ones, Katie and Brooklyn, my best friends. And um, especially this year, the freshmen are really, really awesome and love the band and love getting right. involved and helping the seniors and juniors and sophomores do a lot of great things. So. Well, okay, this is your senior year. What do you plan on doing after, after high school? What, I plan on studying music education. So okay. I'm going to go to either the University of Dayton or Wright State University. Uh, good for you. You Thanks. plan on coming back and then teaching yeah yeah right. yeah i hope <laughs> well congratulations on being our our blazing athlete of the week Thanks and so you know much. keep uh, keep up the great work thank and you. you know hopefully we'll see you back here as a as a teacher in troy ohio thank you so much all right victoria solomon our bl one of our first blazing athletes of the week we'll take a quick break we'll come back with more of our blazing athletes show right after these messages here on 107.1 wtjn